Good day everyone, this is Ed, your chess coach for today's video. Let's check this interesting game of Arthur Ford Mackenzie. And who is Arthur Ford Mackenzie? He composed great chess problems when he was blind. And he is considered as the greatest chess problem composer. It's like Beethoven. Beethoven was able to compose great music when he was there. So Arthur Ford Mackenzie was blind when he created most of his greatest chess problems. And he was not just composing it. He was actually what winning awards and prizes. That's crazy. And the game that we will be checking today is the game he played that turned to be a puzzle itself. Hmm, that's interesting, right? So if you are ready... Come on, let's check this one. Before we begin our chess lesson, do something amazing today. Wherever you are, wherever you are, do amazing. Do something amazing today. So let's go for this one. Uh, Arthur Ford McKenzie was playing black versus J Main. So e4, c5, Sicilian defense, d4, Smith, Mora Gambit, capture, queen takes d4. Usually, white would go what? Um, c3, sacrificing the pawn for the quick development. As you can see, black doesn't have any develop piece. Or if not c3, knight f3, attacking the d4 pawn here. J main captured, queen takes d4. Let's continue. Knight c6 attacking the um, queen. Um, white could move what? Queen e3, uh, queen d3, queen e3, or queen d1. And J main decided, okay, gonna go queen d1. e5, bishop c4 targeting this f7 pawn. Bishop c5, same idea. If you have your bishop c5 or bishop, uh, bishop c4 or bishop c5, the main target is this weak pawn, the f7 or f2. Knight f3 develop for knight f6. Here, immediately, white went to g5 to attack the f7 pawn. Mackenzie, Mackenzie just castled. And then, if you're gonna capture this one, it will be two pieces for a rook and a pawn. So, that's a good trade for black. c3. Just preventing any knight jump to cover this the c2 square. h6. And here, b4. Counter-attack. Instead of uh, the knight would go on f3, j -Main decided, okay, I gonna attack your bishop. And here, Mackenzie had started his wildness. Bishop takes f2. King takes... And then just captured, opening the probably opportunity for the queen to go here. If there's a chance, example, if the king would go here and then queen h6 will be available. That's a future plan. Knight d2 development, d6, giving giving an access for um, bishop g4, rook e1, and knight g5. A knight g4 check, king g3 what a surprising move by white instead of moving king g1 let's check what would happen if you're gonna go um king g1 king g1 there will be a queen b6 and then how can you you're familiar with i believe you are familiar with is modern mate if you're gonna go here that's a checkmate if you're gonna go here of course that would be a wonderful checkmate that's a puzzle definitely this game is definitely a puzzle once the king go on g1 so it is now forced to go where on g3 to avoid the puzzle game is muttered mate queen f6 and knight f3 here the puzzle game is not over yet because in three move in three moves white will get checkmate can you spot the wonderful checkmate that black could pull here 
you have your five seconds or you may pause the video five four three two one queen f4 sacrificing the queen and bishop is forced to capture capture and then knight f2 check me that was a crazy ordinary game that turned to a puzzle if you enjoy the game of arthur ford mckenzie and our simple analysis don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for you to be more updated thank you thank you so much do something amazing today